we were planning a big combined birthday party for a lot of family members and we had an unexpected occurrence. Our refrigerator broke. This came as a really big surprise because it was a brand new refrigerator. Well, it's six years old, but that's brand new to me. Anyhow, I was having a great time setting up my hallway with different little nooks for people to sit. I was really going with Rita Koenig's thing of always having a place to put your drink. We were serving buffet style. But here's the culprit, the refrigerator. We've had to replace the dishwasher already, which was also new. And now the six-year-old fridge. Actually, it just stopped getting cool on the top. The freezer was still working. We were in a hurry, so we decided to buy a used fridge from Facebook Marketplace that we could get quickly and inexpensively. Here it is. And I decided that I would paint it. It had some rust, and I thought it would be fun to try, especially since it was old. Um on this fridge. The first thing I did was give it a good scrub with TSP and then a good rinse with some warm water. It already looks pretty vintage. It's 1994 as it's here. So I was a little nervous about it, but it was a good thing to try since we were kind of in a bind needing a fridge pretty, pretty fast. We were able to get this quick. Um, I found some Kills primer in my basement. This is an oil-based primer, and it really did a great job of blocking all of the rust that was coming through. I put a little mask on because it was pretty stinky being oil-based, but it said that you could put oil or water-based paint over it. So I looked through all my paints. I tested different greens that you can see there on the side, and I ended up settling on this lounge green. Actually, it's half-strength lounge green, and just something about it being lighter it just seemed to really work. I think in a, a refrigerator is such a big appliance. It kind of made sense to me why they uh, are light colors, like those 50s ones usually are light. I think it's because it's just, it's a big bulky thing in your kitchen. And if it's light, it's going to bounce the light off more. I didn't need to tape around the rubber door seals. I just was really, really careful with my angled brush and I cut in. I thought about taping, but I really hate taping. <laughs> it's so time consuming. And I ended up just being able to be really careful and it worked fine. And I, I didn't want to get any paint on the rubber door seals, of course, because that's, you know, really important to keep the fridge sealed and cold. You don't want paint on that because they flex. Um, so I, what I did was I cut in with the angled brush and then I used a little six inch foam roller to cover it once with a coat of paint after I'd washed it and sanded it. Then in between coats, I did sand lightly with 120 grit paper and wiped that down. I really wanted to give the paint the best chance of adhering because I didn't, I was afraid of the paint falling off once I got it in there into the kitchen. Then I went over everything again with a second coat, the second coat gave great coverage and um, I was really happy with how it turned out. Then it was time to do a little fun detailing around the water dispenser. I used hazel, which is another Sherwin-Williams color. This is also a wall paint that I happened to have on hand and I just painted around the water dispenser, not right in where the water and ice come out, but just kind of around it. I tried out a gray on the handles you can see there, but I ended up changing it I didn't really like it, but once I get it in the kitchen, I changed it, and I'll show you what I did there. So the hazel has a lot of blue in it, and this lounge green is more of a yellowy green, but I think they work together pretty well. Then it was time to move the big, bulky stainless steel fridge out, and we ended up putting it in kind of our rec room because we decided to still use it just to keep drinks in it gets cool coolish and the freezer still works which is really handy so we moved it in there and then we moved this new old fridge in and I took some rub and buff in European gold and I went over the parts that they had been chrome on the original and I just rubbed this aged brass on because we've got a brass chandelier in our kitchen so this was pretty much spot on the color of the chandelier, which I was really happy about. And it's really easy to apply. You get a lot of control. Just I just put some on a little rag and used my fingertip. There's no way I could have had that amount of control with a brush. 
And I went on the, I, I put it on the handles, but then I didn't like that either. So I ended up painting over the rub and buff with the hazel color again. And I finally was satisfied with that. I think that was the best. It was just a little too much metallic or something when I had that on there, but the hazel looked good and it was a nice contrast with the lounge green. Then I decided to paint the little, well, first I touched up, it got a little banged up when we moved it in the kitchen, you know, just from having to get moved down the hallway and stuff. So, but it was a lot easier to get in. It was a, a narrower profile than the big stainless steel one. So it was, we didn't have to take the doors off, thank God. We had to take the doors off the stainless steel one to get it out, which was a big pain. Um, but I just touched up where it got nicked up a little bit, getting it in the kitchen. And then I decided to paint the grill at the bottom also in the hazels just to give a little more interest and contrast. So the big rectangular box is lounge green and then some of the accents are hazel and the European gold rub and buff. And here it is in all of its glory in our kitchen. We also replaced the dishwasher with an older model. So it's next there, it's white as well. and. I'm thinking maybe of painting it. I don't know. You can see there it is next to the fridge. My husband says just leave it white. What do you all think? Should I go ahead and paint the dishwasher as well? I don't know. But I'm liking it in there. It's looking a little bit more like a piece of furniture and less like a cold modern appliance. And for a, a stopgap Facebook marketplace find, we are really having a lot of fun with it and it is working great. Um, you can see here that the uh, handles are getting a little wear and tear and you can see the rub and buff underneath. I'm not sure if I'll touch that up or if I'll just let them distress a little bit on their own. And also, of course it's a fridge so it's getting a lot of wear and tear and I, I've just been wiping it down with a cloth. I might put a clear coat on there, but then I'm afraid if I put a clear coat, I won't be able to touch up the paint as easily. So for now, I've just put the paint on and nothing over the paint. And I'm planning to just touch up if I need to, because I have the extra paint in the basement to do that. But you let me know what you think. Um, if I should put a protective coat on or should I keep painting the handles so they don't get rubbed off and distressed or I don't know what do you think but it's pretty fun to have a painted fridge I have to say I'm really enjoying it and I'm also really enjoying the fact that this fridge from 1994 still works and it does have kind of a vintage look which fits right in with the rest of our kitchen uh, I guess I really love blue green because I've got a lot of other shades of blue green in the kitchen but I think the lounge green of the fridge is blending in quite nicely with this is called jitterbug jade the the cabinets over here are painted and they're both kind of a, a green with a yellow undertone and so I think that helps it to work and then there's my chandelier which has brass which is aging by the day <laughs> and so hopefully complementing the brass accents on my new old refrigerator nicely as well. I'm really pretty pleased with how this last minute project turned out all together and I think that it fits in a lot better in my kitchen than the big stainless steel box did. I went back to setting up for my party and adding some more places for people to sit around and talk. I have to confess that after the party went really well, but people ended up just kind of standing around our dining room and <laughs> just like they always do, even though I had put up all these extra places to sit. So it was a good experiment. I think I will just have to keep trying and maybe over time it'll work and people feel more comfortable sitting um, but it was interesting to observe and see what people did i hope you enjoyed this video about my fridge adventure and getting ready for a party experiment 
I'm not sure what to do to encourage people to sit at little places I've set up instead of stand around. If you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments. If I have a party, I'll try again and uh, report back to you. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more interior design and DIY content. And this is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. Take care. Bye.